Uh, Soul, Soul Mike, Mike Mole, that is Nate, that is, that's yours, right? Mr. Mole, there's a hybrid, Lariat, Atlas Blue, believe a uh, nice big sold on the back. Bed covers on it. I think this is Nate's. There you go, I think we put the bed cover on it. Um, window sticker's already been taken off. Yep, that is yours. There you go. Let's get a good, okay, we're going to get a good side shot, shot of this. So we can use it as a thumbnail. thumbnail. Nate came to our Maverick, first Maverick meetup without a Maverick. And um, so got a chance to meet him ahead of time or ahead of uh, his Maverick coming in. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And he'll be here and we'll miss him when he comes to pick it up. All right. Hello, YouTube. So... Uh, just got another video from the dealership. Uh, my truck got through aftermarkets and everything over the weekend and um, or over the week. And so here it is sitting out on the lot brand new again with uh, they installed the hard top roll up cover there. Tunnel, tunnel, uh, hard roll up is what that is. So they got that on. You might notice it's a bit shinier in terms of the blue, a bit more glossier and stuff like that that's because i had a ceramic uh ceramic wrap thrown on it as well um underneath the cover in the bed it is fully spray in bed liner now unlike ford's spray in bed liner um it actually and this is where the video is going to cut out soon here as you saw in the previous part there but i'm just going to go to a standard image here um from there so uh but yeah so talking about the uh, underneath the bed there again so the spray and bed liner that long macarthur does in salina kansas um their spray in bed liner unlike ford's if you get it from the factory if you get ford spray in from the factory uh down in mexico um the spray in liner that they do comes with a nice really cool big large ford emblem in the back of your truck now that emblem is really cool but unfortunately, with their spray and bed liner, they only go so high up on the bed. They spray in the bed, but they don't cover where the bed transitions to the window and that type of stuff to protect uh, the base part of the truck that goes uh, right below the window and whatnot. Um, so if you get like heavy metal objects in your bed and stuff, those metal objects and everything can still chip in and, and sort of ruin the paint if you if you accidentally set them up against the back uh, of the cab there. So what's nice with Ford, uh, with Long MacArthur's spray in bed liner um, is that they actually take the time and care to spray uh, as much of the uh, exterior behind the cab there as possible. Now they don't, you know, and, and so with that, they, they go, um, they spray all the way up to just below the window there. So um it's it's a lot nicer they extend you know they give you more you know spray and product basically uh to help make sure that you know uh you you have a less chance of dings and that sort of stuff towards the paint um that might otherwise be dinged you know if if you get it from the factory so i really like that the nice thing with the spray and bed liner with them too is that it's lifetime warrantied um uh not sure if that's a member exclusive or not You'd best check out a video on Tuesdays, uh, 7 p.m., and ask Tim or Sarah that long ago. They'd be glad to tell you and, and uh, reassure you with uh, how that goes. But um, I do know it's lifetime for me. So um, I really like that as well. I'm only eight hours away. So if ever something really does happen, I just have to take, you know, a couple days off at most from work, drive down there, get it done, drive back up here the next day. It's all good. So, um, yeah. So I really like that. Um, so yeah, talking about the video there again, uh, just really cool. Um, I love seeing it out on the lot. Now, other things that I did, like I said, I got the spray and bed liner, the hard roll up cover, uh, ceramic wrap, and then I got an undercoating as well. Um, so I'll have to take a video or, you know, take some pictures of the undercoating if you can really tell a difference or see it. I don't know, but um, I'll go ahead and go over that once I get it as well. But yeah, just wanted to fill you guys in. Let me know what you think. 
um, trying to also make a, a kind of a difficult situation. So um, I will have an accessory add-on right away when I get it that I'm going to add on myself. I got basically the um, I got the assist uh, for the drop uh, for the tailgate drop down. I got the assist. Um, product or whatnot so that it doesn't just fall down so i got that uh so i'll install that quick make a video for that and then um i'm gonna get the uh, lettering decals just trying to do all the cheap stuff that everybody else is doing uh just to get some fun things for it get some content as well but uh just for now and um so i'm gonna get that um so my decision is is do with the with the atlas blue there it's kind of a, a bit darker and and dark light for sure uh you know it really shines in sunlight of course but it's still kind of that darker blue rather than you know the velocity blue in the year uh one edition so um do i go with black lettering for the maverick uh maverick name across the back of the tailgate or do I go with Chrome? I was originally thinking black since the Mavericks have a black appearance package out there anyways and everybody loves black. So I was thinking going with black and in that case, do I do matte black or glossy black? I'm thinking of doing matte black because I'm a pretty good artist uh, with paint and then I also have a lot of uh, artists in the family that would be willing to help me out, like really specialize the lettering up. Um, to make it completely different from everybody's. So I'm thinking that um, that would be easier too than getting the chrome, but I don't know, the chrome might really shine off the back as well. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know, you know, drop a comment if you'd like. Just kind of let me know what I should do with that. But otherwise, um, lots of th cool things coming. Like I said, I've already got uh, lodging planned over in Colorado, right up in the Rocky Mountains. So after I pick it up in Salina on uh, October 30th, check in on October 30th, uh, I will be going straight from Kansas over to uh, Colorado, uh, right into Denver and Boulder, and then from Denver and Boulder up to the Rocky Mountains. So check for videos. I'm going to get some really cool shots of the Maverick and the mountains in the background. Um, they also have some some kind of like elk farm or something there or whatever. So I'm going to maybe catch some of those guys with the Maverick, show them a thing or two, show them how this thing's taking the world by storm. And then um, from there, we're going to go over to Utah to Dinosaur National Mo Monument. And then we're going to go straight up from there into the bottom of Wyoming. And I don't know what we're doing in Wyoming yet. Um, but after that, we're going to go over to uh, South Dakota. I have family in South Dakota. I don't know if we're going to go see them. Might. We'll have to see. But uh, we're going to go check out um, Mount Rushmore. I've been there once, but I'm going to go check it out again. See uh, the progress on old crazy horse there. So, um, yeah. Like I said, lots of cool things coming. And uh, stick with me. The channel is really going to start ramping up now. I promise you. Um, I had another channel started on a uh, three-wheeled uh, Cam-Am Riker that I just, I'm just i just selling now. Um, and everybody loved all the content I was doing on that. I was producing like around four or five videos a week. So um, that's kind of what I plan to do. I plan to do more than that with this. This is my baby. This is my dream vehicle that I never knew I wanted until a couple of years ago. But <laughs> it took me by storm. Um, I've always been a Ford fan. My dream vehicle past this has always been a Ford Mustang GT. Um, or if I was extremely rich, I'd love just a Ford GT. But I'm not a, you know, I don't have any, like, oh, well, yeah, I guess I do have racetracks around me. But, you know, that's another story, another point. But anyways, I'm going to cut this video where it is. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. More content to come, as always. Um, thank you for stopping by my channel. Give a like. Uh, smash that like and subscribe and I will be with you soon. Thanks. Bye.